I'm Ms. Hartle, a physical education teacher at Richmond Elementary School, and I'm here how to show you to be active and healthy at home. Now before we left school, we were working on striking, which means to hit something. So most of us don't have tennis rackets or badminton or squash rackets at home, so I'm here to show you how to make your own. So here's what the finished product looks like. I used a food container from my uh, Golden Graham cereal. Cereal works well because the cardboard's kind of firm. So you'll need a cereal box, a pair of scissors, tape, or you can also use uh, a stapler. So I want mine rounded, kind of like a racket, so I'm going to round off the ends, cutting here, making sure you don't go too far, I don't want it too small. So I have my racket and now I'm going to tape the edges, I have my tape ready here. And you could decorate it, make it look fun with duct tape, uh, paint, markers, crayons, whatever you have. And so a student who's just learning how to strike, like a kindergartner or maybe uh, an adaptive student may want to just use their hand. So you can put tape there on the edges. Make sure you leave room for the hand. And so you would put your fingers in up to your knuckle. Okay, and now you have a paddle. Now, if you don't have any pool balls around or a balloon, I took uh, some paper and balled it up and taped it. So this is about three pieces of paper. I want a little bit of weight to it. And so today's challenge is can you strike a ball a number of times in a row? So we are learning how to use a homemade striking device. Why? Because we want to work on our hand-eye coordination. We need it for golf and tennis and volleyball, lacrosse, you name it, basketball. So how will I know I've learned anything today? I will be able to strike a ball or an object at least three times in a row if I'm in kindergarten and first grade, 10 times in a row for second and third, and 25 in a row for fourth and fifth. So one, two, three. Oh, Miss Hardle needs to practice. So I may think, you know what? I kind of want a handle on mine. Gives it more weight, a little bit more control. I've used a spatula for my kitchen. You could use a ruler. Just anything to give it weight. Now you're like, Miss Hartle, that's too easy. I could do this with my eyes closed. Up, oh, messed up again. A little windy out here today. So you could try it with your non-dominant hand. It's like, oh, it's too hard. Maybe try two hands, okay? Keep it nice and low. Now, if you do have a striking device, you could use a Frisbee. Okay, you could use an actual paddle and an actual ball, okay? So this is what we are working on today with our striking activities. Now, I will have classroom hours, uh, office hours, I should say, at one o'clock. So if you wanna log back in, and I would love to see what you are doing. You can use a Flipgrid video, you can just join in the chat and show us in the chat what you are doing, but I would love to see what you have created. Another video is coming tomorrow. So have fun.